the crap they know 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 the and these are from Let's Resin. So I will have them linked in the description. I have a variety of little rocks and things that I'm going to put in. But right now, I'm just mixing my resin and I decided to go ahead, bring you on so that I can, you know, um, chat with you a little bit about what I'm doing. So um, right now I'm mixing up my Paduo and I'm mixing it so that, you know, very slowly so I won't have any, you know, bubbles um, and I'm going to let it sit for a few minutes, maybe, maybe about three, three to five minutes because I do want these to turn out really nice. I want them to be very clear and I also want you to be able to see the different stones that I'm going to put in. Okay, so um, all the stones that I have right here, they're, they're just little stones that's from Dollar Tree um, that I bought a while ago. Some time ago, I have no clue when I bought them. These little, excuse me, these little shells are also from Dollar Tree. Um, and these pebbles here, uh, I want to say they're from Dollar Tree, but they could be from Walmart. So, just so that you'll you'll know, and I'll just make sure that I I don't. Well, I think I'll just put glass gems and rocks from your local Walmart or Dollar Tree because you can choose any type that you want to choose. Now there is a set that I don't know where I got them from. Okay. But they're small little pebbles. I don't know if I'm going to use them or not. But I have no clue where I, where I bought these from. It's been so long ago. So I have no idea on those. So while I'm, um, as I said, while I'm talking to you, I'm just mixing. And I'm trying to just mix it slowly, blend it in nicely. Um... And this is the best way to mix Paduo, you know, doing it really, well, not really slow, but at least I'm doing it this slow because, you know, I have this, these towers, okay? And I want to make sure that it's clear. I really want to make sure it's clear. So that's why I hope I don't move too much out of frame, but I'm still blending blending it together and it's quite it's not quite blended because there is still streaks all right that's how you know when your resin is blended well is if when you finish you don't see any streaks so that's what's going on at the moment um, it's almost ready but not quite and like I said I'm trying not to introduce you know, no more bubbles than what I need. So I will be trying to do this in steps. Um, but I'm, I'm just not totally sure, you know, how I want to do it. I just want it to be nice. And like I said, I'm going to start with these little pebbles and rocks and stones. I'll put them in. And hopefully it'll add a nice look to it. Now I do have some other stones that I would like to try, but I think once it once the stones get into the resin, I don't think you'll be able to see them because they they are a little different than um, they're clear. They're clear stones, so I'm I'm really not sure about that. I was trying to look around and see what all I had to put into um, into these, 
okay that looks good um maybe just i'm just holding it up um at eye level so i can see if there's any little strings uh, it's about one or two about one or two strings so um quick rundown i do lives every monday wednesday and friday uh, Monday and Friday is 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And Wednesday is what we call Communication Wednesdays. And that starts at 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And um, I would more than, I, I would be grateful if you'd stop by and, and check us out. The, the lives are so much, um, they're fun. Uh, it's not so uptight as the videos. Um, everybody is laughing, talking, communicating. We have a very welcoming environment. Very welcoming. It's really nice. So if you haven't checked the live out before, you know, check it out. It might be something you're interested in. We do share a lot. And um, I have around... 17 members to the channel and if you'd like to become a member i'd leave i'll leave that link below in the description as well some people don't know where the description is okay so if you're on a video and you look right under that video where you see the like button the dislike button where you see all of that stuff Okay, if you go all the way to the far right, there is an upside down triangle. If you click that, it'll take you to the description. It'll show you everything I use. It will show you discount codes um, that I give out. It'll show you all of that stuff. So if that's something you're interested in, please check it out. Um, and for the members, um, I'm trying to get my members to become more um avid into you know the videos because the members do get to see the videos first um they get to see the videos before anybody else that's what i do i just release it to them and i let it stay up for maybe an hour or so and after that then i will release it to the public so, um, being a member, you do have little perks and I haven't done anything for the members just yet, you know, besides releasing the videos out early, but, um, I'm going to be having a meeting shortly with my members so that, um, we can be on the same page with some things, um, because they deserve to have the best you know they're they're members of the channel that means they support me you know just like the subscribers do but the members they pay a small fee every month to have early access have extra shout outs different little perks use little badges and things like that um in the video so that's enough of that okay i didn't i talked my head off about that oh honey Okay, on this, I hope you can see, but this tells you exactly how many ounces you need. Let's see, let's try to put something black behind it. Can you see that? It tells you that it needs nine ounces, okay? And like I said, it's from Let's Resin. You can't see that. Maybe you can see it a little bit. But um, I thought that these would look nice on my table. Uh a lot of little things that I like and I'm just now getting to the point where you know I just want to make all of this stuff all right so give me a moment because I do think I want to use my um you know the candle lighter I'm going to use that so give me a second and I'll be right back okay sorry about the wait that was a blink of an eye for you <laughs> all right so I have the little long lighter okay something on it there so that I can reach in and you know get the little 
um, as you can see, you know, it's, it's not really anything in there, but it's enough. So I'm going to try to pour carefully into my tower, my crystal tower. Try to pour carefully. And I'm going to stop right there. You know, I, I try to pour carefully, but some still bounced on the sides. So I don't think that'll work, pouring carefully. <laughs> I'm not paying attention to how much I'm putting in at the moment. Let me check it out. This one definitely got to have some more. All right. This was six ounces that I put in here. So, all I'm doing. It's just making sure that they are level. They're going to be at different heights, but still with them at the bottom, you know, on the table. I want to look at it and make sure the height matches up and then it'll be okay once uh, once I take it, take it out of the mold. Let's use a little more. And so does this one. All right. So I used all six ounces. All right. And for me, this is going to be like a test because I want to see actually how much can uh, Padua resin, you know, hold in depth. Okay, so I'm gonna set this to the side. A little paper towel because I dripped up, dripped something on my little lighter here. Now I'm not gonna put anything in here right away. I'm gonna let it thicken up some. And what I'm gonna do is go down here to the bottom to make sure that it's nice in here with the um, point. Just making sure that the point is nice. I want to do that on all of them, okay? Make sure no bubble is entrapped in that very top piece. And I'm going on the edges a little bit. I didn't go on the edges of this one, the middle one. Okay. So I hope that part is good. So now I'm gonna take my candle lighter and I'm gonna see, can I pop some of these little bubbles here? Oh, I'm afraid of that. I thought it would be a good idea, but, oh no, y'all saw that? <laughs> I think the best thing for me to do is take me a little bit of uh, heat. I can get down in there now. Let's see what it looks like. Um, I don't really see anything. It's not really bad. And I think what I'm going to do is um, pour just a touch of alcohol. Let's see here. 
just trying to show y'all the best way to do these towers especially if you don't have a casting resin okay um or a deep pour resin so you have to pour in increments okay you you can't pour all of it all at one time all right so let's see can i just let that go down and do what it's gonna do I really want these points to be really clear. Okay, I'm look I'm just looking in trying to see Okay, that that looks clear. I have to hold it over to the light to make sure, y'all. It's not that I'm trying to take it away from you or anything like that. I'm just trying to make sure that I can see very good. a little more alcohol in, into those so now we're gonna let this thicken up okay once it thickens up then I'll start adding um, some rocks okay I was gonna do like um, my alcohol drops but I I just changed my mind because I want I want to be able to see all the way through it and I still may add some alcohol, y'all. I don't know for sure. Okay, so I'll be back. Um, we're going to let this thicken up. Let me get a timer going. Uh, let's see. So I'll be back. Okay, Crafty Creators, I'm back. So I let this sit for about 25 minutes. You know, the work time is uh, 40 minutes, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attempt to, uh, now I had some little pine cones um, from the Dollar Tree. I don't know whether it's gonna work or not, y'all, cause they seen it and I don't know how that will react with resin. But I'm going to try to see can I like put it in oh my goodness be with me my friend how am I going to do this <sighs> didn't do me no good to get them uh, I wanted this to like not stand up in, at the point but I wanted it to See, is that going to work? Try to put it in the middle. In the middle of this. Uh... Okay, that might work right there. Okay. <clears throat> now, I did want to leave a clear part at the, at my peak. And I was hoping that this wouldn't, you know. Oh, it maybe it'll rise. Maybe it'll rise, okay? Just gonna leave it right there. And gonna put it, I guess this one can go in here. I hate these kind of tweezers. Just like I said, don't do me no good. <clears throat> now what I'm doing is letting it actually um, get a little resin or on the the pine cone, okay. I'm having troubles here. Just gonna let it. Just try to turn it around so it can get right. I want it in the center. Oh, I'm introducing bubbles. So oh, on this one, I am. Oh gracious, y'all. Okay, and it want to lean, so I'm going to have to, you know, make sure that I keep trying to keep it from leaning so much. I thought that the resin was a little thick enough. Okay, 
that one is doing excellent. This one is just misbehaving on all kind of levels. Oh, I don't want whatever that is in there. Oh. So you see my resin is a, a bit stringy right now. So that is it's thick enough. I just gotta get it worked out in the right place. Okay, I think that'll work. Okay, that one'll work. And for this last one, uh, try this one. And I just let it fall in there, y'all, and then like kind of submerge it and then just bring it, let it float itself right on back up. Because I'm hoping that it won't uh, be at the point. This one is not doing so great. I think because it's kind of crooked. See, can I get that bobo out? Okay. So I'm going to let that part sit for a few more minutes. Um, and then I'll add some more to it i'll bring you back when i add some more okay i'm gonna try to drop some of these down in here um wherever they fall is how it's gonna be um i'm hoping that they don't just sink down looks like that one is pretty good i may have to press it down just a little bit so i can get it to do what i want it to do Let's see here. Oh, might be too late on this one. Yeah, I am pretty late on this one. <clears throat> it's starting to solidify. So that one, I just got to leave it alone. And I'm just picking out random little um, shells. My head keep hitting the uh, cam camera, so y'all just bear with me, please. Bear with me, honey. Just gonna sit that there like that. Just don't want to do right. Do y'all do this? Just try to see what all you can do. <laughs> Honey. So I did have a fail on a video. Um, but, you know, I show you those two. I don't really worry about if you see the fail or, you know, you're... Nobody's perfect, okay? At least I don't I don't think so. You can come close to it, but nobody's perfect. Oh, I got strings everywhere. Oh my gracious. Okay, so I'm gonna just let this part stay put. Another one in here on this side. letting it do what it wants to do maybe one on the other side as well and you can see how it's falling that it you know is setting up really good so hopefully I'm not like really messing it up I think that one needs to sit a little bit longer for me to put something else in there. Let's see. <clears throat> oh, and then, y'all, I thought that these, these rocks right here would look better. I thought these would look better than those, but I still may add one or two of those. I, I really don't know. 
So I'll be back again. I had to bring you back for a minute because I wanted you to see what I was doing, but I'm, I sprayed a little alcohol on a paper towel and these rocks here, just in case they're dirty because I've had them forever. So I don't want them to be like totally nasty or have any type little um, things laying around on them. Okay. So I just wanted to bring you back so you can see me um, just take the rock and wipe it off really good with alcohol. Put it wherever you're going to put it. And, you know, just let it do what it's, whatever it's going to do. So, <clears throat> on these... I, like I said, it's it's no particular way that I'm doing anything. I'm just, you know, putting stuff in. Putting stuff in um, everywhere. It don't matter where I put it. As long as I just add some, some type of uh, other type character to it. What? This one is misbehaving so bad. Oh, okay, I'll be back again. Okay, I'm back. Well, I gotta got to put my gloves back on again. Um, I did throw a little bit of mirror chips in there. Um, and everything is, is ready for the next coat. on our way now y'all let me check them out and I'll set the timer wait for that and while I'm waiting on that uh, I'll be putting a little bit in at the time you know so I can see if it's I don't want it to be all clustered okay we are back now that looks nice and clear okay now I don't think it's quite ready to drop anything in yet but I can put like a bigger um, rock in here like these right here I could put one each in because it, you know it's just gonna drop so I'm gonna do that Ooh, that just really dropped <laughs> oh my Ooh, oh my oh my so, and, and that helps take away some of the resin stuff too, y'all. You know, the more you add, the less uh, resin you would have to use. Now, I'm trying to get these bubbles up a little bit. Get the rock from off the edge. hard on this one I think I'm gonna have to take it just like that and this one I think it's okay now may have caused a bubble here and there especially on this one because that was a big plop What I'm going to do is heat it for a second to make those bubbles disappear. Those bubbles out of there.
I'm gonna have to put some alcohol in for a second just so I won't, you know, make a mess. I'll let that sit for a second. I'll be right back. I meant to bring y'all back. <laughs> I'm so sorry. So, 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 so sorry. I didn't mean it, y'all. Um, I did add the pine cone, the green, the big, bigger green um, stone like this. I added that in and I added one of these each in and the pine cone. So that was all I did without you. I forgot to press um record. You know. Got to press record, honey. Alright, so now I'm gonna add some of these mirror chips in again. Um, they can sink. I, I prefer them to sink a little bit. I probably try to press them down a little bit in there. I'm trying to see some of the mirror. All right. Maybe that'll be okay. Um. I'm just going to try to make some of them go down a little bit. It's going to be hard because it's already thickening up. Not this one. I know my head is probably in the way, y'all. I'm, I'm sorry. I was just trying to reach around. Wasn't thinking. this one i guess because it's it's thicker it always um seems to thicken up on me faster than the other two so since that is like that i'm gonna try to drop a couple of rocks in to let them float down so i want it to kind of be you know as if it's floating think it's gonna be as if it's floating too much great day that was a long string <laughs> oh my uh, how is this it sank right down so I'm gonna just leave these two alone right now I do have a little bit of bubbles but I'm, I'm really not worried about them can I throw a little bit of these in since it's getting a little stiffer? Can't really make them go down. I think it's too light. Oh, I got myself a mess. myself a mess on that one but it still can turn around okay so let's see about this one I haven't messed with this one in a, oh this one is still fluid a little bit so it wasn't too late to get those to float Not too late for this one either. Oh, I got a lot of bubbles there. I don't know whether that'll help or not. Hate to add more heat. I don't think I can do anything about it.
out of casting resin. That's why I can't do nothing about it. Uh... Stick is a little messy. Okay, now I, I just think it's time for me to um hmm. Let's see here. I'm really trying to work this thing out, y'all. get the glass from off the side of the wall try not to keep your glass on the side of the wall if you do this I mean you may do it a totally different way you know that one definitely got bubbles in there well oh, I hate it I hate it um It just fell in the wrong place. Put it there. Put her there. Ah, that color. Yeah, I want that color on the outside. It was kind of like a two-tone color. I think this one is on the wall. Okay. Ah so messy okay I'm gonna leave it but this one does have some more room just gonna plop some stuff in in I think it'll be okay plop one more of these in okay yeah, that works. Ah, oh, it's two on one side. Oh. Why didn't y'all tell me I had two on one side? Okay. I don't <laughs> I don't know y'all, but hey, I did something. I got something going on. All right, got something. <sighs> okay, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back, Crafty Creators. Y'all. <laughs> I don't know what in the world. Okay, I'm about to add um, the rest of... Well, I'll still have one more layer, but this one I'm gonna keep let's see put it right there this one I'm trying to keep it so that it will be pretty much the same in height well what I have left at the base that's what I'm trying to say On this this layer I'm I'm going to put like some alcohol ink in here I, I think that's what I'm gonna do I get so um I can't really decide what I want to do but I think that's what I'm gonna do is put some alcohol drops in here uh, and I think I'm going with the pinata teal. Now, when I when I started on this, you know, when I was thinking about it, it was my idea to use alcohol drops, alcohol ink drops in it. But you know, 
I, I was just had my mind all over the place about it. So we're gonna see what happens. I can drop some alcohol ink in there. I don't wanna put it in there just yet. I want it to sit for a moment before I put it in. So that's what we're gonna do. One moment, please. Okay, I'm back. It's been sitting. It's really warm. Really warm. My gracious. I never really even use alcohol ink, you know, besides. Well, I haven't used it in this method. So I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen, y'all, but we'll see. Um, I'm using the Pinata Teal. Ooh, better open this over here. All right. So, one, two, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, six. So this one is moving and this one is not. So that one is probably not gonna do right. Okay. Because I'm not used to doing this. All right. But I said, oh, what the heck? Let's try it. And now I'm gonna use some white pinata ink I think I want this one covered some more let's see oh it's y'all it's it's about too late for that one oh my gracious thought I timed it just right I'm just see can I get a swirl or something in in that I don't know if I'll be able to At the rate I'm going, I ain't gonna be able to do nothing. All right. So, maybe it'll fall down. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. this one kind of behind kind of late with it this one I've got to go ahead and see can I swirl it oh man it's too late look at it look y'all oh my gracious it's too late for this one oh well, I thought I had it in time enough Oh, this guy, this is a mess. <laughs> oh my gracious. Oh. It's such a mess. Just, I'm just gonna stir it up. Okay, I'm just gonna just stir it up. Just let it do what it wanna do. It's too late. It is too late, honey, it is too late. I was trying to poke down in there a little bit so that the ink could look as if it was dripping down in there, but oh. y'all, what a mess I got. Oh. I just don't know about myself anymore. I be trying, and I think I tried too hard or something. Let me mix this up. 
just gonna try to do the same thing with stabbing this down too. Ah, oh, it's just too late for the other one. That's what I hate. Okay. I don't even know what to do with that over there. This mess right here is what I'm talking about. Ugh. I gotta do something. So I have that blue looking color. So what I'm gonna do is take my teal, put a couple of drops of the teal and a drop or two of the white. Let's see, can I mix this really quick? This was just some leftover resin. Oh, it's too much teal. It's not that bad though. Hmm, it's off, but gotta go for it. Gotta go for it because it's totally the wrong color. Y'all probably looking like, what are you going to do now? I don't know what I'm going to do. I thought it was going to be okay. Ugh. Let's see, can I just spread it around on the edges here? Let's see, can I make some go down? in the corners or something. I'm trying. It's it's trying to break and go in, but I don't think it's really having it. Okay. So since it's not having it, I just kind of broke some free and letting it go around on the edge. Always come up with some other solution solution if you can. Okay. Maybe that'll be okay like that. I need to put some here on this side. Hadn't got around to all the sides. Ooh, this thing is kind of warm too. Okay, I'm gonna leave that alone. Already did what I can do to it. Maybe it won't look too much like a mess. I don't know. It already looked too much like a mess to me. But oh well. Okay. That's all I'm gonna do with that. Try to get the, some of this in here. Those made nice colors. Okay, so, <clears throat> excuse me. Just trying to make some sink, trying to make a hole. I think I made one. I guess. All right, so I got a mess. All right. My plan now is to um, just take and do like a darker color blue on this last little part right here. 
and I will wait until it gets um, I'll wait a while for that I want that to um, finish getting um, cured before I put the next layer on and then again how I'm feeling right now I don't know if I'll, I'll wait I'll probably wait for a few more minutes and just get it done so cover these back up so disappointing so disappointing Can't do no more harm, huh? Right? Can't do no more harm. Look at that. It's not even moving. Try to get that mixed up some, but I don't know. Well, it's going to be a darker blue anyway. So, whew, honey, I don't know the next time I'm going to try this. I really don't. But I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Now, I have my last um, six ounces in the cup. I don't think it's going to take quite six, but it might. I'm using... Um, <clears throat> color passion navy blue okay and you don't need a whole lot of paste y'all you really don't you do what you got to do you just don't need a lot so let's see what is this gonna look like I want it dark enough so That'll be it. I'll just have it dark so you can't see through it. Okay. I'm so disappointed in this project. I really am. I'm so disappointed. But I do have to make it to the end to demold it and you know, see what really is the outcome. This navy blue is so pretty. So pretty. I'm trying to make sure that I keep wiping my spatula so that you can get it uh, mixed evenly. You do want to do that. You do want to make sure of that. Okay, um, looks pretty good. I don't think there is uh, any streaks. I, it wouldn't wouldn't bother me any. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> it's it's already, you know, messed up. So I just gotta keep pressing, keep pressing, see what I can do. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and pour on in. Going to fill it all the way so that it's flush. Okay, I knew I was going to make a little drip somewhere. the way Make sure that it's really flushed <coughs> excuse me okay so now all I have to do is just wait and y'all that was uh Actually, that was just one, 
two, three, three ounces that I poured in. So um, the first one was six, the second one was six, the third one was six, and so um, that was 18. Um, and then this makes 24. So 24 ounces of resin to do this. Okay, I'm not gonna waste any resin, so I'm, I will be putting this into something. Um, as a matter of fact, I do have a mold that I could put it in really quick. So I'll be coming back for the demold process and see, you know, exactly what it turned out to be like. Um, I'm not gonna be too shocked if it just don't look like anything altogether. I'm not gonna be too shocked with that. Just making sure all of this is because you know resin shrinks okay and I'm just gonna spray alcohol let my bubbles evaporate and I'll be back okay crafty creators I'm back from this mess so um I think the easiest way to get this demold I think I saw online is that um I take and put like some uh sudgy water and run it down on the side right there so I'm gonna do I'm gonna get that right real quick matter of fact I'll just bring some soapy water so hold on for a second I didn't even have to leave y'all you know why because I had some soapy water already in my shop from when I do decals on stuff. See, I already had some. So what I'm gonna do, loosen the side up. Okay. Um, I do think this is ready. So I'm gonna go ahead. So I'm gonna take and spray a little soapy water okay I'm gonna try to spray it on each side so that it can loosen the mold up my attempt to anyway I saw this on some somewhere I seen this I forgot where though oh come on spray bottle you gotta be kidding me <laughs> wait let me see Oop. Oh gracious, I got another project. I hope I didn't miss and spray my project. All right, I'm gonna get that. Hope I'm still in frame because I often get out of frame when I'm trying to get something done. And you want to kind of wiggle it around a little bit. I don't think I have enough room there. It's loose. It's getting really loose so I'm trying to maybe I should roll it down okay wait a minute y'all because my hands is look my hands wet no wait a minute okay y'all I'm back I was trying to find a good way that I can show y'all how to get these out and um I was right with the uh, with using the soapy water. Okay. Oh, that's not bad at all. You see that? Oh wow! I thought I did terrible, but it's not too bad. It's not too bad. I thought it was gonna be extra bad. It's not too bad, is it? You see that? Oh my gracious. Let me see, make sure I don't have nothing sticking down. I'm gonna use the last one to show you how to get it out. I said, you know, I'm, I'm just gonna show you how to do it because if you have no clue on how to make this thing come out, then it's just gonna be a whole mess okay whole mess 
So I already have this one ready. So let me see what this one looks like. Oh, okay. Y'all, I'm so surprised. I'm really surprised. Oh, wow. Y'all, I was so discouraged about this thing. Because I was like, this is a lot of resin. I was so discouraged. But it's not bad. I do have a um, little hole there. That's when I was just really giving up. But UV resin, honey. UV resin. So, okay. So, let me make sure that I can get so you can see really good. Okay. This whole thing here. First, you want to try to, you know, get it, get it loose. Okay. You want to go all, all the way around the edges. It's, it's tough, but it's not as bad once you get a little bit of the um, soapy water in there. Okay. So I'm going to take my sprayer and I'm just going to spray down. And the easiest that I found, if I took my finger, I know it's scratching the mold a little bit, but I took my finger and scratched around. Let's see, wait one second. And kind of like work that water, work that sudgy water in there. And it'll start to get loose. Like I'm sticking my finger down in there again. Okay, that suction just came up a little bit more. Sprayed a little, a little more of that soapy water. And while your hand is in there, try to get your hand to go down in there. You know, at least pop the sides loose. It hurts too a little bit, y'all. Ooh. Ooh. Almost. There. See, it's this one. Okay. Ooh, my finger is. Look how flat it is. <laughs> okay. Now you want to keep working it, working it down. There it is. It just released. It just released. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Y'all, I thought it was going to be extra, extra, extra ugly. Now, one of my sides, I wonder, is it like that on all of them? One of the sides look like it's um not as shiny. On um, only this only this one right here. I don't know why. I've got to see in the mold why why is it like that for the, just this one? Like that whole side is not shiny right there. These these two sides are not shiny. But of course you can still put UV on it and uh, or either, you know, put your resin on it. Or I could try to polish it. I may try to polish it and see what happens. But y'all, these turned out nice. Oh, just wait one wait one minute, wait one second. Wait one second. Like this is awesome, isn't it? Look at it, y'all. Oh, my gracious. You see that? It's not perfect, but it's cute. It's really cute. I didn't even know whether how it was going to turn out. I was getting so discouraged. Um, but I'm fine with it. I really am. I'm, I'm really fine with this. Uh... I see a bubble, but it's okay. <laughs> it is okay. Oh, that's so nice. Y'all, look at it. Now, okay, that that's a piece of uh, glass. I thought it was like more of a hole or something, but it's, it's a piece of glass. So do me a favor. When y'all do this type thing, 
don't don't put the glass chips in there i mean the glass chips add a little to it but if i were you i wouldn't put the glass chip in okay the points are nice oh wow isn't that isn't that neat like do you see the neatness of this it's so gorgeous i gotta clean it up i gotta clean it up it's i've, I've got stuff everywhere on it but y'all it's really nice I think I'm going to do one with different levels. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But I can't stop looking at it. it. It's just nice. It's got the little faults here and there. But it's okay. It's really okay. So, <laughs> y'all see that? Oh, my gracious. That side is the... um don't look like it's the right side there i don't know why it's like that i really don't i've got to when i clean that mold i got to look and find out why is that one that side like that but oh you can just do so many things with this thing right here oh i'm oh it's a lot of resin though that's uh what 22 ounces i think it was 22 ounces it's a lot of resin okay whole lot whole 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 lot but i love it and i hope y'all loved it too so i will see you all on the next one okay bye Le hey wait wait let me take you for a close-up <laughs> i got a lot of stuff i got a lot of stuff but you see oh, isn't that nice y'all those little pine cones were, let me push it back in a little bit. Those little pine cones, and in, in, in case you want to see how big it is, okay? Wait, let me put my hand there. All right? See? Okay? So that shows you pretty much the size that they are, okay? So nice, so nice. I know y'all are going to create some very beautiful things with it. Because I am. I am. I'm going. Let me let y'all go. Okay. I love y'all. Take care. Bye.